Hello, dear and wonderful friends. Welcome to a happy mail bonus video. <laughs> As I said in the previous Happy Mail Monday video, it was already a bit long, and so I didn't want to make a huge. <laughs> so I decided to do a bonus Happy Mail video with. Oh, and gosh, golly, gosh, golly, G is what I meant to say, but. That's not what came out. <laughs> All right. With this huge, super cute stickers. <laughs> this huge, oh, sorry about the blur. <laughs> Amazing, oh, goodness me, parcel post from the one, the only, the amazing, the generous, the super cool apples. Bum, ba, da, bum. So Apples contacted me and Apples is doing a little bit of uh, house rearranging as Apples and Avery's little pebble has come home. Sweet, cute, little, little Bobby. Ugh! Sorry, I get excited about lots of things. <laughs> but they uh, had, anyway, sorry. It's not my story to tell, it's their story to tell. But what I will say is that Apple's got in contact because of the a bit of house rearranging and asked if I, oh goodness, if I ever um, go through my zines or do D stashes and stuff like that. And I do go through my zines and do a little, just a little bit of calling. I keep most of the stuff because I'm me. <laughs> but, you know, things happen and. Uh, you know, you need you get a little pebble home and you need to do a little bit of rearranging or you know, sometimes a, a zine. Most often I, I pass on zines because while I love it, I think someone else will get something from it and so I don't want it sitting in my collection just for my enjoyment when it could be doing something for someone. Anyway, so yes, I do go through things and yes apples asked if i um would be interested in accepting some of the glorious de stash and <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yes a million times yes fun fact um ages ago when i was first oh there's so many zines <laughs> so many zines <laughs> ages ago when I was first reviewing and all that good stuff back in Bendigo um, LP uh, my friend LP in Amsterdam who's amazing and awesome links in the description <laughs> my amazing friend LP actually did a D stash and sent me a bunch of zines and that kept me in zines so I didn't have to worry about being able to afford to buy zines to review for ages and yeah it kind of just it went from there but yeah um i i am a happy i am a happy recipient of the d stash i am a happy recipient of the uh the clean out all that good stuff and excuse the crinkling <laughs> so yes if you are ever looking for a potential home for your zines you can definitely always send to me because while i may not keep all of them the ones that I do not keep will go to, will, the chain will continue on. The chain of generosity and de stashing goodness and oh me oh my this is so many zines and I'm so excited. <laughs> so yes, uh, Apple's got in contact and I, I tried to very coolly say yeah, yeah that would be cool while inside I was going oh, yes of course, of course. Of course, the, 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 the D-Sash, I'll, I'll, yes, send me the D-Sash things. <laughs> so yes, today's bonus video is dedicated to just checking out all the amazing, I think Apple said two kilos of <laughs> zine goodness. So if this is your thing, sit back, relax, grab a snack, all that good stuff, because we have a lot of cool zines to look at. Yay! <laughs> I will probably say this at the end of the video as well, but I want to say it now anyway. <laughs> Definitely check out Apples and Avery's uh, 
I think it's a store envy, but it's a their shop called the Chicken Collective. And if you like games and you like to uh, explore topics of queer gaming, then definitely check out Dear Diary Today I Died. And they have a lot of other fun zines as well, a lot of interesting zines, a lot of um, um, poking in your feelers <laughs> zines. Like um, I recently reviewed Baron. And I recently reviewed Dear Diary, Today I Died, 1, 2, and 3. All sorts of good stuff to be found at the Chicken Collective. So yes, definitely check it out. Ba ba. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Do chocolate companies sponsor zine makers? <laughs> Alright, bagging up. So let's get to this awesome zine goodness. And I'll just say thank you, Apples, for your amazing generosity for sending all of this along. This is so cool. So here we go. We'll start off with, I hope your slingshot slings. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you had me at uh, the illustration on the front. But yeah, the title just adds to the allure. <laughs> so that looks amazing. And as per usual, I will do my best to, I will list out all the zines in this gorgeous d-sash and I will try to find all of the uh, people who have made all the things in case you see something and you go oh I like that oh that sounds interesting I want to get I want to be a part of what's happening here <laughs> so yes I will list all of the zines and as many of the uh, contact details as I can find so yes we start off with I hope your slingshot slings I thought I'd stumble over that a bit tongue-tied a bit but there we go Ah, cool. There's so much good. I'm just, I'm just, oh, so many things. Anyway. <sighs> Next up, we have Poem Space Night. Ooh, poems inspired by Rom Space Night. And this is by Adam Ford. Ooh, interesting. Looks interesting. Sounds interesting. Though I must admit, I'm not sure who um, Rob, Rom, excuse me, Space Night is, but. We shall find out. I like that cover. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, good stuff. And then we have How to Correctly Serve Apple Pie by Kathy Sarpy. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a comic as well. Oh, it, does, it is a comic. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, and this is by Kathy Audrey. Kathy Audrey made a comic, oh my gosh, that um, I uh, had as best, best something in one of the zine awards things I ran. Anyway, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so here we go. How gorgeous is this cover? I love all the colors. So nice. Very cool. And very cool to get a full size, um, Zine from um, from Kathy, but yeah, I will have to find the uh, the uh, which award award <laughs> Zine awards. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm mumbling, rumbling, rambling, one of those. <laughs> Next up, we have Chroma Zine Volume One by Rainbow Death Ray. Now that sounds really familiar to me for some reason. I am not sure why, but I will find out, I'm sure, at some point. So yeah, chromazine. Check out that awesome unicorn. <laughs> Rainbow Death Ray. And then we have, <laughs> we have nutrition facts on the back. Very cool. <laughs> If you're hearing all that bird song, which you might not be, but if you're hearing all that bird song, it's because it's a little bit warm here in the zine cave, and you girl needs a breeze, okay? <laughs> Chroma zine volume one. So we have some art, and we have some sketches, and some writing. Looks like a perzine to me. <laughs> cool. And next up we have... Gutter Slug, issue one. Ooh, me, oh my. Okay. Lots of writing. Lots of writing. Lots of text. Oh. <laughs> so, I should probably show you what I'm looking at. 
gutter slug number one. Sorry about the. <sighs> what do I get first? Do I get a proper camera for filming these videos or do I get a an A3 printer? <laughs> and here is the back. Maybe I should do it like this. A bit easier to see all the, the things. Oh, intriguing. Intriguing indeed. And I like that Apples has sent me issue ones of things. And I know it's because that's the issues that Apples had. But I do like starting at the beginning. What can I say? Oh my. Okay. So we have like a, a book booklet. Memory. There's work to be done. It doesn't have to be a chore. Smile. Memory issue three, volume one. Post magazine. Okay. So I see text and sketches and photographs Ooh, curious curious so there we go i'll just give a quick flipping through of, of the various things i just realized i haven't shown you the insides of any of these until now but again don't have permission so it's kind of like <laughs> next up we have an art scene by Ben, it looks like. And then called The Mask. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> I must admit, it take me a little bit, uh, like a couple seconds to realize that was an arm kind of coming down. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hello, girly. <laughs> my dog outside the window they've figured out that they can see me through the window <laughs> there we go all the details there all the good stuff very cool <laughs> oh me oh my I can already tell this is going to be such a long video but I hope you like like the goodness like the zine goodness because I am just <laughs> I'm just a zine fairy in zine land right now. Cool. Next up to take a look at what? <laughs> Read me burn after. Oh, goodness me. What is this? Short stories. <laughs> it says short stories, but it is a collection of art looks like this is by Bridget Deacon read me burn after mm. we have check out that mm. always a bit envious of the artists in the world but alas I do not take the time to learn so that is what I get so yeah, we have a bit of a collection of Various art pieces inside. Just a little peeky peek. And then I'll show you the back. So there we go, finally. <laughs> Here we go. Checking that out. Very cool. Voila. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. And next up we have Rocket Art for Art for Art. Hmm. We have text and flyers and art, as you would hope given the title, but then again, you never know. <laughs> Here we go. So, Rocket Art for Art for Art. Ba Boom. June 2014. Implying there might be more, but you never know. So, we have little texts and bits of pictures and bands and all kinds of stuff going on in here. Cool! And then, so this is June 2014, which helps to know, <laughs> or helps, because all the dates listed on the back are obviously well and truly gone. But cool! Very cool. Rocket! Okay. Ah. 
Mm, oh my. Sorry. <laughs> I'm off with, with the zine fairies again, just being excited about zines all around me. <laughs> I'll just do a little bit of rearranging so I don't just sort of... You'll have to let me know, though, in the... Ah, excuse me. In the comments and stuff like that. If you like these longer sorts of videos. Because I know I do. But I also know that my tastes in pretty much most things are a little bit to the side of other people's tastes. So yes, let me know. <laughs> Bread and Butter Volume 2. Okay, this is by Jess de Blue, I think. Oh, looks like... Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, got excited. <laughs> so Bread and Butter Volume 2. That's where I got Jess's name. But I got it. it opens up this way. But then it opens up again. <laughs> Things I've found in cinemas. Just give you a little peek right there. Oh my goodness me. Oh, cool. Love it. Oh, that's great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Never worked in a cinema myself, but I've had friends who worked in cinemas and oh, the tales they tell. <laughs> goodness me. All right. So that was Bread and Butter Volume 2. This is Taped Crusaders. Home taping for the pet. Masses pay no money. Hmm. Oh, this one isn't bound, but here we go. I will show you what I'm looking at here. Home taping for the masses. I like that. <laughs> and it's very, it looks like a fairly, fairly, a very text heavy sort of zine. And, hmm, maybe some reviews in here. I have to sit down and look closer because, it, yes, it's very, like, it's very text heavy, so it's hard to just easily pick out something right from the get go, but. Oh, curious, curious. Looks like there might be some reviews in there, if not all reviews. Very cool. So we have Jus issue three. Ooh, this is a chunky zine, isn't it? Oh, hello. <laughs> Me, am I? So, okay, so we have Jus issue three. Very cut and clean. The reason I said hello is because I immediately, as you might do, go to the center spread. And hello, center spread. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm just kind of taken by surprise. So it looks like juice is. Let's see. Some art. What's cooking? Ooh, some recipes. Ooh, cherry pie recipe. Nice. Life after death. Damien Eccles. Some art. Ooh, fun, 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 fun. An interview as well. Rock in the USA. Cool. Looks like a cool, fun, variety, variety filled zine of goodness there. Ooh. Because there's just, there's just so much to look at. I'm so excited by all the things. Rah. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have squad goals. Corrective exercises. <laughs> Kegels are assen essential. Mm. <laughs> oh goodness, this looks like an interesting one. So yeah, squad goals. It's a collection of <laughs> pictures of movements and, and responses to those um, those pictures. And yes, I'm showing you a little bit, a little bit more than I usually would. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> cool squad ghouls. Oh, uh, and then we have the iconic U. And then we have U, which is also with Folsom Prism. They have done done gosh a few um Oh, what do you call it? Split scene! Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that. But yes, they've done a few split scenes together, I do believe. U and Folsom Prison. And if you don't know about you, definitely 
should check it out because it has a long and awesome history. But yeah, here we go. Cool. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is one that I am going to be passing along to wherever I pass them along because this is actually what I have. <laughs> I want to be a Travella 2016. Now this is a comic zine. Very cool, but yeah, I was wondering if I would, if um, Apple's would be passing on any zines that I already have. So there's one. <laughs> Very cool. Yes. So if you're interested, boom, boom, boom. I will try to remember to let people know where I am passing on any doubles or anything like that. Or if you, if there's, if you're interested in this one, or if there's another one that you're interested in, um, that maybe a, oops, maybe a double or anything, um, let me know in the comments and I'll see about uh, sending you some zine goodness, especially if I already owe you mail anyway. <laughs> cool. Yes, I want to be a trofeo. I'm probably, am I putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable? Could be, I want to be a traveler. Cause I'm saying travella, it could be traveler. Like, I want to be a traveler. Anyway. <laughs> so we have, next up, library love. Ooh. Oh, so dedicated to library goodness and libraries as we know are awesome at least all my experiences of libraries have been awesome they've been a refuge they've been world opening eye opening experience place all that cool stuff so yes we have library love dedicated to the library goodness ah. Awesome, 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 blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. Just <laughs> got myself tongue tied. <laughs> so, very cool. So, now we have notes towards a feminist utopic commune slash an imaginary sharing of oppression and power. Oh, volume one by Alicia. Now, that is a loaded title if I ever heard one. Hmm. But it's not what you might think. There's some art and a bit of text. Let's see, we have a couple of photos. A lot of interesting things. Curious, curious. Definitely looking forward to having a peek at that. Let's see. Next up is I wear your clothes like armor, a zine about throwing muses. Hmm, curious. So lots of text and cut and paste goodness having an oven heel. And ooh, <laughs> so there we go. And I'll show you this. Then I have to show you the back because it amuses me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Goodness. So yeah, we have like photos, cut and paste, text, and, and all that, that goodness, all that good stuff. Ooh, music and ooh time timelines interesting lots of stuff going on here so that i wear your clothes like armor curious 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 hmm oh goodness but i saw this in the title just like boom hey guess what you need to take a look at me the wrong side of google history is seen by looks like kara but i might be saying it wrong oh full color awesomeness Ooh, okay. <laughs> the wrong side of Google history. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, cool. That's uh, an art comic 
goodness sort of thing going on here and sorry that it blurs out like that whenever it feels like it but yeah it looks like this um sketches with um various google searches and all that stuff <laughs> sorry. i'll show just one i'll show just one just a peek at the one here basically says oh <laughs> <laughs> is kombucha just you call for vegans <laughs> if you're not sure what um your cult is it's a kind of a bacteria probiotic drink and i'm sharing that because i'd never heard of it until i moved to australia so yes <laughs> so yeah the wrong side of google history you're definitely going to enjoy checking that one out and then we have let's see robot Ooh, okay it looks like kind of a an ode to robots. We have like old old ads and old movie posters with robots and, and things like that. And yeah, some cartoon ads, that sort of thing. And then of course we have Ex Machina. There we go. I know some people really didn't enjoy that movie, but I thought it, I found it um, curious. I found it interesting, but then I've taken the various classes that make me look for themes and all that stuff, so. All that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, robots, curious, curious. And then we have, ooh, we have numbers two and three of Hoppers. Okay, so you can read Hopper's number one by Tricky Walsh free online. So I'll show you that at length. Oh, it's a comic. Oh, okay, so it's a comic and there we go. I'll put the uh, link in the description as usual. But yeah, you can read number one free online. So very cool. Very good to know because I will start with number one as I like to do that. <laughs> There we go, and I'll just see so yeah, hoppers. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> see, I get distracted and I start reading the things, and I realize I should be showing you the things rather than reading the things. There we go. And that's the back cover. So that's number two, and then it's a, like I said, it's a comic. And then we have number three as well. Hoppers number three, dirty hands. Ooh, cheeky. <laughs> there we go. I like this art style. It reminds me of something, but I can't just can't put my finger on it. Just what at the moment, but either way, it is cool. There we go. Comics. When did I say? I said something like I haven't been reading enough comics lately, and boom! I have been. I have had. Lots of comics come in, so all kinds of goodness stuff. Next up, we have holiday anniversary issue and interview with Jermaine Greer. So that title sets you up with uh, certain expectations. And perhaps the blackout sets you up with um, other expectations. Here's the back cover. Alas, I can almost guarantee you that when you open this scene, your expectations are not what you... <laughs> <laughs> actually receiving this scene. Matt Elwood, Holiday Anniversary Issue, 2011 edition of 100. And <laughs> it would appear that this lovely zine is um, maybe instead of blackout poetry, whiteout poetry. I don't know if that's focusing enough to be able to read it. I hope it is. But yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I, I like to think that this is a, an interview that was uh, whited out, save for all of the swear words. <laughs> that's, that's oh, I don't know why that amuses me so much, but it really, really does. <laughs> this is number two of one hundred. Ah, oh, cool. But yep. <laughs> 
Oh, I just said amuse me so much. So yes, that's holiday anniversary issue. <laughs> Alrighty. Next up we have Honest, which looks like a oh text and art zine. And here we go. Dun, ba, da, dun. Oh. Things that make me want to try to make art. <laughs> Oh. And then we have Suburbophobia issue 14. One comic for every year of my life. Ooh, okay. So obviously it's a comic. We have the, the panel goodness and stuff happening here. So we have, there we go, Suburbophobia number 14. This sounds familiar too, so I'm wondering if I have is other issues. I don't have this one, but now I'm wondering. So I think I have number 12. I want to say I have number 12. But anyway. <laughs> and then we have this on the back, and I'll wait until it gets, try to get it nice and clear for you. And then you can always pause the video and read the goodness should you desire to do so. Sorry about that. Go like that. I like that. And there we have it. <laughs> so that's Suburbophobia issue 14. And then we have, let's see. Dear Giselle, dear Beck. <laughs> okay. So this is a series of letters back and forth from Giselle to Beck and from Beck to Giselle. <laughs> without reading, without sitting and reading it. I don't know if it tells a story or if these are real letters or whatnot, but very cool idea. I like it, I like it. So there we go. And then of course, all the contact goodness there on the back for you. But again, I'll put it in the description. <laughs> and next up we have Witch, a Halloween by Cassie Grace. And this looks like a collection of um, old newsla newsletter um, clippings about witches and the witches, witch poetry and, and all sorts of things. Interesting. I am looking forward to taking a closer look at that so I can see exactly what's the what with the witch. I like the whole the Halloween thing. I think that's cool. Having zine events and, and things like that. Whatever gets you making, get your creative gears into gear, that sort of thing. <laughs> so yes, that's witch zine. And then we have eggplant. This is another one that sounds familiar and I don't know why. I guess that's just the way in the zine world, really, because um, there's just so many... There are just so many zines. So this is, looks like a text-free zine of photography and various art pieces and whatnot. So I will show you this. <laughs> and I'll just give you a little peek at two pieces that I have caught my eye because they're adorable but some of it as I said is photography and whatnot so that is eggplant oh and some as well nice okay <laughs> and then we have untitled untitled but it uh, looks like a an ode to copy machines <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll show you. I promise I'll show you what I'm actually. Okay, so we have this untitled. And then, but it looks like someone's taken like classical, um, classical paintings and whatnot. And, um, yeah, put them with copy machines. Because why wouldn't you want to express your love of copy machines? Love of the Xerox. Love of the. <laughs> printer scanner scanner printer 
<laughs> all that good stuff. So that's really funny. I quite like that. I'll show you just one more too. I know I shouldn't be letting you have peaks, but <laughs> see. <laughs> oh goodness, I like that. That's really clever. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have lost souls looking for broken bones. Let's see if I can get these stacked up. Ooh. Sorry, I saw a bulldog clip and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> so yes, lost souls looking for broken bones. Any town, anywhere, the first, the 21st century could be any time. Oh, okay. So there's a text um, opening on the front cover, and then it looks like this is a collection of photography. So what I'll do, there we go, same thing, and you can just uh, pause as you so desire to read. And yeah, this is the front cover. And then, yeah, collection of photography that I'll give you a brief peek at, and then, this is the back as well. This is longer than the, the front, but yeah, there we go. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So much text um, just to read <laughs> on the covers rather than on the interior. So interesting. So yeah, lost souls looking for broken bones. Next up, we have The Misadventures of Billy and Jace, episode one. Not quite right. Another fun looking comic here. Let's see. So, yeah. Misadventures of Billy and Jace. <laughs> Looks very interesting. This has been a one small duck production. Okay. <laughs> I suspect I will be looking for more of one small duck's work. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Next we have That's What Makes You Beautiful, Girl to Woman, My Dedication to Boy Bands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is by um, Melissa J. Stewart, and I do believe I picked up some of Melissa's uh, work at Festival of Photocopier. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I did. So, <laughs> yeah. Here, this, that's what's make, what makes you beautiful. Excuse me. Bumping the mic again. <laughs> I didn't really get into boy bands like my friends did when I was younger, but uh, yeah. <laughs> And so it looks like we have an introduction, um, story of my life with music, and then we have listings of various boy bands. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then of course, <laughs> we have a nice collage in the middle with all sorts of boy bands on various magazine covers. Oh, fun! <laughs> Just want to see. Oh, goodness. And then we have <laughs> Hanson. And oh my goodness, I um, went to school with someone who just loved Hanson so much that when we graduated, um, her love of Hanson was actually brought up on our <laughs> senior trip. Oh, it was great. So cool. So that is, that's what makes you beautiful. <laughs> and it just clicked to me that that's actually a lyric from a song. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I told you music's not my strong suit. Next up, we have Sugar Rabbit. Okay, so we have a cute picture of a cupcake with the mention of sugar. Yes, you have won me over. <laughs> you win. You have won me over. How cute is that? Yeah. And then inside, there are all kinds of very cute... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a dedication to sweets, basically. Oh my goodness. Baked and otherwise. And it's so adorable. I'll just show you the back. 
just so you can get like this is this is me this is so me this is me absolutely and completely let's see i mean they're opening up with m&ms and i love m&ms especially peanut butter m&ms oh goodness oh sorry <laughs> i'm getting hungry from m&ms now <laughs> so m&ms oreos brownies marshmallows profiteroles oh my goodness me you win like win 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 you marta you're amazing i love your zine already <laughs> So that's Sugar Rabbit by <laughs> my Marta. Excuse me. Next up, we have another Halloween zine. This one is called Visual Feast. Sorry, anything spooky. And then they uh, want to um, mix it with um, food. I'm kind of like, oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, Visual Feast, a Halloween zine. This is created by Jess Hast. Oh goodness, they told me how to say the name. <laughs> but yes, Jess Hast, um, not as new, but still fairly new zine friend who, whom I met at Festival of the Photocopier and recently reviewed um, Jess's a review of Festival of the Photocopier. So I thought I recognized this style, which is really funny when you can start recognizing zine makers by their um, zine style. But. Uh, well, maybe it's just amusing to me, but yeah, it's a Halloween zine. And there we go. Excuse me. If you're not familiar, um, Jess Hass is one third of the Beanstalk zine creative team. So there we go. So cool. Very cool to see another one of your works and your, your, um, your Triforce <laughs> works out and about. So very cool. Oh. Cool, cool. Mm, I will not. Oh, okay, so sorry. I just have to do this one because it's it's one of these um, generator things, and this is your shitty Halloween costume generator. So I have to do it. So your first letter of your first name would be J. So I'm a bunny. The first letter of your surname. So I'll go surname Nix because you know. So I'm Jamie Nix. So I'm a bunny exorcist with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my that is my shitty Halloween costume and I won't show you the whole thing because you'll have to get visual feast to be able to do the whole thing but just know that your resident zine enthusiast is a bunny exorcist with a sword and if if any artist friends out there make that draw that and send that to me I will try to send you as much money as I can because that would be amazing so yeah your resident zine enthusiast as a bunny exorcist with a sword the challenge is on <laughs> because that would be amazing <laughs> all right so yes that's visual feast i'm just realizing there's no way that this isn't going to be at least an hour but that's okay because i love the zines and i love going over the zines and if nothing else i'm figuring that this is a great way to find out about zines you might not otherwise find about so it's kind of like e. <laughs> there we go but yes <laughs> so I, I'm just really loving that picture of the uh, the bunny exorcist with a sword it's with the sword that really makes it really just tops everything off for me. <laughs> so that was visual feast next up we have uh, why this is an extremely interesting time to be alive and sometimes opportunities and some opportunities for change. A zine from Doing It Ourselves, edited by Theo Kitchener and Brad Maddock. Oh, okay. So, okay, so this is, ooh. oh, sorry, statistics, wow. <laughs> so I'll show you the cover before I get uh, engrossed in the text here. Go, and I'll show you the back as well. It's doingitourselves.org. There's an upside to everything. Even the debt crisis, peak resources, and environmental calamity can mean stronger, happier communities and smarter, cheaper, and healthier ways of meeting our needs. Oh, oh, this is going to be, this is definitely a big one. And it's going to be an interesting read. I can already tell. Ooh, 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 ooh. And there we go. Oh, sorry about that. 
do it again. <laughs> Just in case you want to pause or, you know, grab any details. So yeah, why this is an interesting, an extremely interesting time to be alive and some opportunities for change. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a heavy, it's a heavy title for what appears to be a heavy scene because it's, it's, let's see, mostly text. And they mention things like peak oil and peak water and local self-sufficiency and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll, it'll be a hefty read, but I'm looking forward to it already. That was that one. And this is the one that caught my attention earlier because it has a bulldog clip on it. <laughs> the Making of Chowder, 2015 to 2017, issues one through 10 by Renee. Okay, so this is photos of the making of the zine. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, a behind the scenes of a zine. Zine. Curious. And it's all photographs. There's uh, no text or anything. So I will show you this. And I don't know if it came with the bulldog clip or if Apple's put it on there. But if Apple's put it on there, thank you. I mean, I understand kind of understand why people might not bind their zines, but it, it's really appreciated when you do. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But yeah, it's um, a collection of photos on the making of a zine. So th that's very interesting. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. Curious. I'm looking forward to taking a closer look at that later because, yeah, this uh, kind of just would never have thought of making a zine about that. So cool. Next up we have Valbozine. Valbo's typical winter night, a cartoon idea, the first. Okay, so we have <laughs> one of these pictures just reminding me of a South Park-ish um, type of drawing. So here we go, Valbozine. And it looks just like comics and drawings and, th and things like that. Looks like it might be one story, but I can't tell you what's up without taking a closer look at it, but here we go. Checking that out. And that's pretty much what the inside looks like as well. So you have a really good uh, idea of what's going on in the zine. So cool. Hmm. Curious, curious. Next we have Fistful of Comics Issue 2, a comics anthology. Oh, me oh my. I like anthologies because, um, you know, as I imagine the goal is you find in one spot you um, get to see a variety of people and find possibly lots of new um, people to follow. <laughs> Let's see. Number two. Welcome to the second issue of Fistful of Comics, a comics anthology focusing primarily but not exclusively on South Australian creators. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The response to issue one has been extremely positive and I hope that this issue is as well received. While there are several return contribu <laughs> contributors, there are also quite a few new names in keeping with Fistful of Comics' aim of providing an outlet for a wide range of both emerging and established creators. You may also notice that this issue has four more pages than the last one, all for the same low price. Oh, cool! Sorry, I get excited because I still feel very new to South Australia, even though I've been here for a while now. So yeah, anything that makes me feel a little bit more settled into my new home state is a good thing to me. <laughs> so here we go. And as the description says, yeah, it's a um, collection of comics from different artists. And like I said, I think that's really cool. It's how you, it's a good way to find new people. <laughs> cool. Next up, we have How to Be Alone 6.0 by Bastian Fox Phelan. And oh me, oh my. I kind of did a little <laughs> clap as soon as I saw this because I reviewed 6.1 of this series, I believe, and it was just such a, like a hello zinc, kind of like, mind, 
seen from me. I will put the review down in the comment, or yes, down in the description, along with the contact details. It's going to be a long description box with, <laughs> with everything, but yeah, this is um, How to Be Alone. I've only read a couple, I think, but yeah, the ones I have read are just boom. Just <laughs> Bastion has quite the, the way of writing zines, that's all I'll say. So yeah, so How to Be Alone 6, and this is primarily text with a middle spread of full color collage goodness. But yeah, primarily text. Ooh, thank you for sending that along. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Next we have, I'm trying really hard to grow, so please don't step on me. Oh, okay. And this is a collection like thoughts of thoughts and art and all that good stuff, but like nature art, plants and, and things like that. So here we go. And I'm sorry if I look down and I don't realize that the, the uh, focus is a little bit blurry. I do apologize. I've noticed that there have been a few times when I've missed it in previous videos. And then we have, oops, see if that'll focus. There we go. So yeah, an art style like the cover and we have the drawings and everything but we have little um, bits of text in there as well sharing thoughts and feelings so oh I like that. Ooh, cool, right? And next up we have issue three of Piss Void. <laughs> there we go. This actually reminds me of um, Yestin's textures from the uh, pack of zines he sent. It's very cool. So it looks like we have some art as well as some writing here. I'll give you a, a peek at that. And. Yeah, we have some, some art, and then we have, let's see, a sad 90s day, which is a playlist, and yeah, cool, it's a bit of a variety uh, zine, if you will, so yeah, that's Piss Void. Next up, we have the zine Growing Things, a guide for beginning gardeners. Well, that's exactly where I'd have to start if I ever started a garden. I'm not good at the growing of the things. <laughs> Now with this one, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it looks like maybe this bit was meant to be cut and it wasn't, or maybe it's just meant to be like that. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, there's nothing printed on any of the pages that are within this margin, so I might, might give it a trip, maybe. I'll check for <laughs> but yes anyway so what am I even looking at so here we go growing things guide for beginning gardeners now I did catch inside it says that it's um focuses on vegetable gardens but I imagine a lot of the wisdom imparted in here would apply to other gardens as well of course <laughs> And this looks very cool, like different tips and illustrations and fun and easy when to plant <laughs> and that sort of thing. Very cool. So yeah, that that's that's a mystery to me. This bit, but yeah, <laughs> looks like a cool zine. So that was growing things, a guide for beginning gardeners, and this is. Next up, Old Memory. Looks like a primarily oh, text and photographs zine. Not quite catching what it's all about, but that's all part of the fun of the mystery, right? So we go Old Memory. And then we have nice sewn binding that's not going to focus. There we go. <laughs> cool. It's very interesting like it's an odd not odd but like it's not the usual shape and it has photos and paper I 
photos and text. Excuse me. Goodness me. Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Where's my brain? <laughs> okay, so that's old memories. I can't seem to find any sort of contact details or whatnot on there, but I will deal with that later. <laughs> All right, and then we have DIY or die propagating houseplants. Ooh, more on the green gardening goodness. And this one's by Shelly Smith. Let's see. That, ooh, goodness. <laughs> Did me like zine. <laughs> DIY or die propagating houseplants. And that is the name of the podcast who that also has a host named Shelly, and I'm wondering if it's the same person. Anyway, side tangent. So here we go. <laughs> there we go. And that's on the back for you. So yeah, and that's it by Shelly. Propagating houseplants. I didn't read that. Like, I want more greenery in my life. I'm just really bad at gardening. <laughs> All right, next up we have Happy Bus. A free gift, a pullout, a star chart, and stickers. Ooh, my, we're already off to a good start, aren't we? <laughs> Catch the Happy Bus and enjoy the ride with Meliors and her friends. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. I will show you the back and then you can tell me whether or not I have said that correctly. But yeah, that's cool. Bright, a very bright cover. Here we go. And so, yeah, it looks like we have Perzine. What is the happy bus? And, oh, me and my. Okay, so we have the. <laughs> this is cool. We have the pullout. So it's like pop up. <laughs> pop up fun goodness. That's so cool. I like that. And then we have these bits and pieces, small town, happy song playlist, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, this is a fun one. I mean, I like zines. I like all the zines pretty much. But I do like a, a fun, a fun reminder that, you know, there's good, happy, cheerful things in life. <laughs> and then the aforementioned stickers so there we go fun fun cool that is happy bus and then we have web 57 you will need special equipment okay so this looks like a collection of various craft bits and bobs or various craft instructions that Oh, it says you will need special equipment. <laughs> so, I'll show you what I'm on about. So, there we go. Pretty in pink um, uh, cover there. Goodness, I couldn't remember the word cover. Yeah, there we go. And then, ba -ba -da -ba. there we go. So, yeah, it's a collection of various. It's instructions and images and things like that. Imagine there's a uh, greater theme to things, but I am just here to intro the zine goodness. Oh, it looks like we have another issue of one of these. Notes towards a feminist utopic commune volume two by Arisha. And again, oh, good, whoops. <laughs> Unbound, I kind of went, woo. Yeah, we have a collection of words and pictures and whatnot again. So yeah, here we go. Oops. Yeah. And then we have some of those good old details on the back, which is always very much appreciated. So that was that. And then we have a whisper or a shout issue one, street harassment. Feminism, pop culture, all art and writing. Ooh. Published by Pen Fight Distro. Oh, Pen Fight Distro. Ooh, okay, so we've got comics and poetry and written pieces and photography and all this good stuff. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so <laughs> another one where I'm getting 
distracted by all the things inside. So there we go, there's the cover. And there is a lot to be found in this scene. I'll give you the goodness on the back there. And so yeah, we have comic and text pieces and lots of imagery, lots to look at, lots to take in. And without a doubt, there'll be a lot to contemplate when it comes to this scene. So, ooh, another one. Goodness, I'm thinking like maybe a month. I just lock myself away with all the zines and read all the zines. <laughs> so here we go. Am I adulting right is the next one up. And let's just say winner, winner of a um, title for me, as far as my interests go, a zine by Emma Charleston. There we go. It's a nice scene too. Nicely put together and just feels nice. What can I say? I like textures. <laughs> so let's see. Sometimes the weight of housework can feel overwhelming and we don't always talk to each other about it for fear of being ashamed of our habits or shaming other people in theirs. 122 people were kind enough to anonymously fill out my survey to provide a data set that will give us all a better idea of each other's behavior. Oh, love statistics and love a survey. <laughs> this will hopefully show things, show that there is no right or wrong way of doing things while giving us a guideline for things we'd always wondered but never wanted to ask. Oh, this, oh, that's another one. Another zine that is, oh, right. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, cool. So yes, it is a zine answering in statistics because again it's surveyed with 122 people and yeah answering questions like how clean is your hob <laughs> and that's in the kitchen and the laundry do you separate out your colors whites darks no no <laughs> I, I don't um ironing do you iron or do you not iron oh goodness window cleaning comments attitudes do you have you ever paid a cleaner to come and clean your house oh this is brilliant this is brilliant i'm going to love this i already know i'm going to love this make more of these things make everybody make more of these sorts of zines so we all feel a little less distant from each other and all realize that we're not as different as we think we are we are, we are unique and special in many ways, but we are, n we are, we are not as different and worlds apart as we often think. <laughs> that's, yes, that's my ramble, but yes, make, make more of the things, right? <laughs> oh, cool. So, all right. If you're wondering how, how many more zines, because this is amazing how many zines Apple has sent, but if you haven't been able to tell, I'm starting to be able to feel it. So, but I'm hoping you can't hear it. My voice is actually starting to go. <laughs> that is how many zines the amazing Apple has sent. So apples, excuse me. Oh goodness, and my brain's going too, so that's fantastic. So this is what we have <laughs> left. And I'll do a little pan over, I'll insert some footage here so you can see all of the zine goodness that we've been on. So yes, this is, <laughs> these are the zines we have to go. So this one is, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. This is the Adventures of Spacey Spice, which is great. <laughs> At first I thought it was Adventures in Spacey Space, which was also amusing to me. So this is fun, full color mini. I like it already. <laughs> Very cool, and this is the, the back here, so I should probably just <laughs> go like that for you. Very cool. Cool. And then we have Monster Girl Zine Volume 2 with lots of awesome, amazing monster girls. Cool. <laughs> there we go because we all need a little tumbler in our life. <laughs> Lives. Epic Cures for Daydreamers. Ooh, by Lily Peary. 
And this is full color, glorious, glossy, super cute awesomeness. Look at all those colors. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Green and growing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, what can I say? I get taken in by the colors. Next up, we have endangered species. Ooh. Okay. So it's it's a collection of um, exp <laughs> endangered species, but it's not. Some of them some of them are endangered species. Some of them are animals, but some of them are like the world <laughs> because of climate change. <laughs> So there we go, endangered species. Oh, it's interesting. All these interesting ideas for zines. I need to make time, make more time for making my zines because all of these zines just give me more ideas for zines. And then we have everything means everything. Ooh, which is a, a fun fold out one. Everything means everything. I'll just do a little bit closer for all of this goodness. Won't go like that. But yeah, it's a fun fold out in that it folds up and then out. But I don't want to spoil all the things, so I'll just <laughs> only show you that much. And then we have censor censorship and homophobia by Eve Kosofsky Sedgwick. It is speech and visibility that give us any political power we have. Oh, wow. Censorship and homophobia. I'll just show you the, the inside there. And it's a very, it's like, it's very, um, like, hmm, what am I trying to say? The, it's texturized. It's, um, there's a word for it. I, I, I'm thinking of kerbloomzine because it's, it has that that texture that imprinted and pressed into the um, paper texture. It's very cool. We have looks like a text completely text zine, but oh my, me and my and citations and all that good stuff. Guillotine is a series of erratically published chapbooks focused on revolutionary nonfiction. This is Guillotine Series 5, Censorship and Homophobia. Letterpress, there we go. Letterpress printed and handbound. Oh, cool. Very cool. So yes, it was letterpress that I was thinking of. Mm. And then we have Floatsome and the Curse of Dewey Decimal. <laughs> Goodness. So this is a very cute looking comic. Whether it's cute in content, I do not know. But yes, it looks very cute. And then we have this little peek inside. And then here at the back with all the, the, the details. Fiction booklet number two. Number two of <laughs> one billion. Drawn, printed, and assembled in January, February 2016 by Mark Pearson. So it looks like a an interesting comic of sorts on this um this very thin like tissue like paper not quite tissue paper a little bit more substantial but yeah it's very it's very quite thin and wispy <laughs> it just makes me want to be careful with it <laughs> yeah comic zine quite a lot of stuff going on Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Oops, sorry about the microphone bump. And then we have Becoming C3100. <laughs> More um, copier, cop um, copy machine love and appreciation, I suspect. Oh, this one's a little bit. Okay, so we have Becoming C3100. There we go. A little bit blurry, sorry about that. And then we have the back. <laughs> but this one's an interesting one because it's not bound but you open it up except this isn't um, cut or anything so it's kind of like it's <laughs> this, 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 it's this 
needs this accordion fold. So that's different. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. So yes, becoming C3100. And then we have... Ooh, jump cut for sneezing. <laughs> and then we have what at least looks like on the cover is more love and appreciation for the copy machine. Silence Fiction presents Robotic... Robotic Hypnotics, a love story. Aww. <laughs> so there we go. Here's the cover for you. This is a Pentaloon production in conjunction with Silentia Publishing. Just, <laughs> just having a look. There we go. And this, it looks like a combination of text and drawings and a little bit of collage stuff going on and yeah as per usual <laughs> not sure if i should show all this stuff off i should just make a decision decision and go with it eh like anyway that looks kind of cool Ooh, so that is robotic hypnotics next up we have oh another chunky little mini zine tragic all content was sourced over seven different sketchbooks. Film photography shot around Canada, uh, Canada, sorry, <laughs> Canada, LA, and Melbourne. Various paintings and drawings and pics from my phone. Everything in the zine was made in 2017 by Kathy. Oh, cool! Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like um, collage diary, if you will. So there we go. Tragic. And then, so yeah, everything inside is kind of a, a combination of um, photos and writing and yeah, all these little bits and pieces that aren't going to focus. Just <laughs> to show you that one. Oh, that's cool. I like that style. Again, more ideas of things that I would like to do in the future. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that's tragic. And then we have chips. Oh. Things falling out of things. Just wanna. <laughs> okay, so that's supposed to. Ooh, hello. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So this is Chips Halal Snack Pack. Uh, chips number four. Had to remember my uh, Roman, Roman numerals there for a moment. So this looks like uh, an art type zine published by Helio Press. Has. Uh, <laughs> has comics inside and this little doodly doo uh, fell out of it but I'm going to be what may be frustrating to some people <laughs> and be mysterious and not show you what it is for reasons <laughs> so that was chips for and then on the chips theme we have chips please <laughs> Which is basically a love a love ode to chips. Because why not? They're delicious and gorgeous and wonderful. Why wouldn't you want to um, <laughs> get in on that goodness? There we go. So yeah. Love a little love ode to chips. Why not, I say. So we have Veganize Your, veganize your Life. This mini zine just to do this. This mini zine was brought to you by Athamara zine by an individual who also champions all things eco-friendly, independent, feminist, and political on a personal level. Back issues from 1 to 10 are still available. So what I just read is all the goodness right there. Interesting. Vegan ice cream, vegan mayonnaise, vegan pesto non-food lifestyle products that can be replaced with vegan alternatives so that is veganize your life we have another small and this one looks like an art type zine and it's called trans plants there we go and it's pretty much filled with pieces like that and like this so there we go that was transplants. And then we have hairy issues. Let's see. 
Thanks to all the anonymous women, Harry and non-Harry, who contributed to, contributed to this zine. All are quoted exactly apart from spellings and punctuation corrections. Further reading the beauty myth. Oh, I love it when there's further reading. Further reading the beauty myth. Na Naomi Wolf, The Last Taboo, Women and Body Hair. Uh, Karen Lesnick Oberstein, Body Hair Removal, the mundane production of normative femininity, femininity by Torian Wilkinson and Choi. Oh my, oh my. I am already, oh, I'm already in, like, I have made actually made a zine <laughs> on this particular topic so i'm happy to see more zines oops sorry about that more zines on this particular topic i will definitely be diving right in so there we go oops sorry about the <laughs> wiggly fingers and now we're coming down to the final four my Brilliant Career in Libraries, Avril Harris, Melbourne Sticky Institute. Okay, so here we go. We yeah, have my Brilliant Career in Libraries. There we go. This is another fun one that opens like this and then like this. Oh, it just flies out of my hand. <laughs> oh man, okay. Ooh. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by the zines. I'm still getting just There are so many zines and I'm still getting distracted by the zines. <laughs> so that was my brilliant career in libraries. And here are, there are 38 panels in this comic. And true to form, it is a comic by Andrew Fulton. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. <laughs> and then minicomic.club. There we go. Cool. And then we have Cowboy Facts. Another comic. Looks like another comic. Could be a collage of other comics. Oh. Cowboy Facts. <laughs> See, if, there we go. Proper focus always helps. There we go. And last but certainly not least, we have what's looking like, yes, super, 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 super cute um, zine called Lots of Little by Sophie McPike. There we go. Lots of little. Sounding like a winner to me. <laughs> and. Oh. Aww. I know I know what I say about not showing the insides, but this is so something I need to see right now. So this is so cute. And there we go. I already know I'm going to enjoy this scene. Oh, so cute. So me, oh my, oh me, oh my. This is probably the longest video I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and all thanks to the amazing generosity of apples thank you for sending all these scenes along that's so amazing that's totally amazing i definitely don't have to ever worry about being <laughs> low on zines to review that is for sure thank you a million times thank you and like i said if there's any that don't quite fit uh my my uh zine bubble my zine pinion <laughs> whatever you call it i will be passing those on to a lovely lovely home for further appreciation so yes thank you thank you thank you thank you and <laughs> you're here to the end well well <laughs> I am so impressed at, you know, listening to me babble on for over an hour. So yes, I will wrap that up here because I, again, I don't know, my voice has lasted, <laughs> but I don't know how much longer we'll get that. And the sun's going down. Yeah, the lighting's changing and everything. But yes, one more time, thank you so much to Apples for thinking of me. This is my neighbor's cockies, if you can hear them. <laughs> Thank you so much to Apples for thinking of me as a uh, next home for some of your zines. I really appreciate it. And Sea Green Zines is always open for any D stashes. Like I said, it will be with me. Or if it doesn't quite fit my uh, my little zine collection, I will 
give it to a good home. So yes, so I don't repeat myself anymore. <laughs> Wrap it up and say, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and thank you for <laughs> lasting this long. And until next time, make some zines and spread some sunshine. Mwah. so many scenes there are so many scenes